Assim que entramos no segundo círculo, lá estava a Minossa, rangendo terrivelmente. Ele ficava na entrada e recepcionava os pecadores, julgando-os um por um. Ouvia as co suas confissões e proferia a sentença, se enrolando na própria cauda. O número de voltas que dava a sua cauda indicava quanto deveria descer o pecador para o seu lugar nas profundezas do inferno. Uma grande multidão se amontoava diante daquele juiz. Cada pecador falava, ouvia sua sentença e era tirado no abismo. Ó oh, tu que entras no asilo da dor, disse-me nós ao me ver, interrompendo seu ofício. Vejas, vejas bem em quem confias e como entras aqui. É fácil de entrar, mas não te enganes. Por que gritar? Respondeu Virgílio ao juiz dos mortos. Não podes impedir esta jornada, pois lá onde tudo que se quer, se pode. Isto se quer e não peças mais nada. Minós se calou e nós prosseguimos. Pouco a pouco comecei a perceber sons tristes, muito pranto e lamentos. Neste lugar escuro onde eu me encontrava, o som das vozes melancólicas se assemelhava ao assobio do mar durante uma grande tormenta. Os tristes sons emanavam de um enorme redemoinho. Eram almas sofredoras, sacudidas pelo vento que nunca cessava. Entendi que era o castigo pela transgressão da carne, que desafiava a razão e a submete à sua vontade. No escuro vento vi várias sombras que passavam se lamentando e ao mestre perguntei. Mestre, quem são essas pessoas que o vento tanto castiga? A primeira cuja história deves conhecer, explicou o mestre, foi imperatriz de povos de muitas línguas. É Semiramis, a sucessora e esposa de Nino. A que segue é a viúva de Siqueu, que se matou por amor. Ali tu vês Cleópatra, luxuriosa. Veja Helena e também Aquiles, Pares, Tristão. E uma por uma me indicou outras mil sombras que tiveram suas vidas desfeitas pelo amor. Poeta, eu falei, gostaria, se for possível, de falar com aqueles dois, unidos, que tão leves parecem ser ao vento. Espera, respondeu. Em breve estarão próximos de nós, e quando a fúria do vento diminuir, peça pelo amor que os conduz que eles virão. Então, quando a tormenta cedeu um pouco, eu chamei. Ó oh, almas sofridas, falai conosco, se isso for permitido. Elas ouviram, entenderam meu pedido. Deixaram o bando onde estavam as outras e se aproximaram. Uma delas falou. Ó oh, ser gracioso e benigno, o que desejares ouvir ou falar conosco, nós ouviremos e falaremos, se o vento permitir. Nasci na terra onde o pó deságua. Amor que ao coração gentil logo se prende, tornou este aqui pela beleza da pessoa que de mim foi levada e o modo ainda me ofende. Amor que a nenhum amado amar perdoa, prendeu-me pelo seu desejo com tanta força que, como vês, ele ainda não me abandona. Amor nos conduziu a uma só morte. Caína aguarda aquele que tirou as nossas vidas. Ao ouvir este lamento, baixei o rosto e permaneci assim, até Virgílio me despertar. Voltei novamente àquele casal e perguntei. Francesca, o seu martírio me traz lágrimas aos olhos, mas diz-me, como permitiu o amor que tomasseis conhecimento de vosso sentimento recíproco? Não há maior dor que lembrar da felicidade passada, diz ela. Mas se teu grande desejo é saber, te direi como quem chora e fala. Líamos um dia sós sobre o amor que seduziu Lancelote. Várias vezes essa leitura nos ergueu olhar a olhar. Mas foi quando chegamos àquele ponto que falava do sorriso que desejava ser beijado por um perfeito amante que este aqui, que nunca me seja apartado, tremendo, beijou-me na boca naquele instante. Nosso galeoto foi aquele livro e quem o escreveu. Desde aquele dia não o lemos mais adiante.
Enquanto uma alma contava sua história triste, a outra chorava sem parar ao seu lado. E eu, comovido de piedade e dor, desmaiei e caí como o corpo morto cai. Ok. Uh, hi, Lorena. Nice to see hi. you today. Hi. Nice to see you, Q. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks okay. for this opportunity, actually. Oh, of course. Uh, thanks for uh, for helping us uh, by uh, by reading um, Canto Five in Portuguese. So uh, first of all, may I ask you to uh, introduce yourself? So uh, my name is Lorena Sodano. Um, I'm half Italian, half Brazilian. I was born in Brazil. That's why I read the, the Canto Quinto in, uh, in Portuguese. Uh, it's one of my first languages. So um, can you tell us uh, what kind of uh, relationship uh, do you have with Dante and his work? And so um, is it related in any way to your work as a PhD student in uh, Italian studies? Uh, not actually. It's not uh, my work. Uh, uh, my thesis actually is going gonna, is gonna to cover uh, a different period of literature, a different literature period. But um, I wanted to participate because when you, when you guys sent me the, the email and when we started talking about it, I, the first, the first thing that came to my mind was me in class at high school, trying to understand and to decode uh, Dante's Divina Commedia. And, um, and the feelings, like actually everything came to my mind, like uh, not only the struggling, but also the music that it brought to me at the time, because I'm, I'm very fond of uh, music and the, uh, Yeah, I have a very musical family, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, back then, at the time, I was it was very for me the La Divina Commedia work also like when I started reading it, it was like like something something very musical. Not only it was not only the words, but also it was bringing something deeper, and it it really touched my my soul you know my teenager soul at the time so and i think that pretty much like because of dante and petrarca and boccaccio of course and because of le tre corone uh i fell in love with literature and i really wanted to you know to i i you know my life uh, took me to other paths also but i was but that those things they were inside me and they they got stuck you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah those they 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 I, i can tell you that they helped me develop my my adult life you know mm -hmm. reading those those texts and everything yeah thank you very much for for sharing that um um profound um feeling about uh, Thank you. Dante and uh, the Italian yeah. literature in general with us. On that note, uh, I would like to ask, why did you choose uh, this particular canto? Is it uh, your favorite or is it one of your favorites? It's one of my like favorites. It? Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. It's one of my favorites and especially because it, it talks about love and it talks about also about uh, the relationship, the, 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 the beginning, uh, the, the reason of love when you're not exactly connected, you can, like when you feel that you have love close to you, mm -hmm. you just cannot, you cannot like ignore it. Yeah. When love is around, you, you always end up by getting touched by it. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much like, and also, I like also the, um, I don't know if Dante will like my, my testimony, but, <laughs> but I like also the transgression that the canto brings into Divina Commedia. Now, I would like to uh, turn our conversation to um, today's language, which is uh, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. um, can, can you tell us about, um, about this translation? Uh, why did you choose? this uh, translation in particular, and uh, what do you think uh, is uh, interesting about it? 
yeah, this this was a prose translation. It is not a, in, in the original verses that uh, Dante wrote, but uh, I chose it because I felt that it was very, it was well done in Portuguese and very simple to, to you know, to, it was a very simple translation. It was, mm. it was done, it was well done, I think. Yeah, I tried to look for some others, but I think that when, when, when the other translators left it in verses, Mm -hmm. uh, it was a little bit, you know, it was not as fluid as, as that one was mm -hmm. from my perspective. Yeah. And uh, so this one is, you, you, you think it's more like ex more accessible to, yeah, guess, yeah, to, to the readers. readers. Yeah, mm -hmm. to Portuguese readers. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it, that would be like for anyone to be reading, even if you don't particularly like um uh, prose or if you don't like verses but it's very and if you don't like also literature it's it's very simple and as as it can be of course there are many many hidden you know paths also in, from in the background like many informations many info that you don't it's not specific because that's dante also you have to look for them, but either way, it's very fluid. It's very simple to read. Also, that's I think that's uh, also another um, another great approach to to Dante because uh, one of the objectives of this project, right, to be to make it um, to to have more people read Dante or revisit Dante. So, uh, yeah. if that's if if that will help. Um, bring bring more uh bring more readers. readers yeah yeah that's to to discover dante and maybe later if you want if they want to continue uh with uh, the, the original version in italian vernacular that's also a possibility but mm -hmm. uh it's also nice to 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 start with uh something simple something that is uh digestible uh and 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 then uh you can we can see uh, what it brings where it brings you yeah. From there. And also, also, uh, let me just, uh, just also adding to that, to that question that you made before, the one yeah, that yeah. you, you asked me, uh, why did this, why did I choose this one? It was also, I was telling you that I was touched by reading, I was touching by Dante when I was at high school, and it's by, it's the same thing, almost, it's a, a a comparative, a parallel. I was doing the parallel also when Francesca, Paola, Francesca were reading the book Galeotto, mm. and then they were touched by it. Mm. Uh. That changed their lives, and that made also gave them an impulse to, you know, to pursue their love and to, you know, to connect, to really connect with the partner. And uh, yeah, that's the that's what I wanted to 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 add to it. Yeah. It's like I was reading, and that touched my life, and then I went, I went for it, and that happened to them too. Yeah. That's 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 a great that's a very nice parallel uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that you made there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th thank you, thank you very much, uh, you. Lorena, for 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 being part of this project and uh, for sharing your um, experience with us. Thank you, you very for, much. Thank you for having me.